hi guys welcome back to my channel so today I wanted to do this purple Barbie makeup look and I'm actually gonna start with a fresh face I've already applied my primer Becca Evermatte poreless priming perfecter and then I'm gonna go in now with my foundation this is Mac pro Longwear. this is NC 42 and NC 50 because as you guys already know I have to mix colors because nobody has my color I just have not been able to find any makeup yet that has my complexion in one color. So I'm always mixing them. Plus, you know, with the weather and everything, I'm always having to go lighter or darker depending on what my skin is doing. So I find that easier to do. This is LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Pure Beige. This is my first time using LA Girl Pro Concealer. And I have to say, I'm actually pretty impressed. I actually really like it. Um, I am um, usually a MAC Pro Longwear girl, and I really like MAC Pro Longwear. So as you can see, I had to double up to kind of get the coverage that I really wanted. So I did apply the LA Girl Pro Concealer twice. Oh my goodness, you guys gotta excuse me. I run out of breath so fast now because I am pregnant. I'm 29 weeks pregnant. I'm in my third trimester, and I am just like running out of breath and losing, like forgetting my words. So excuse me. <laughs> anyway, here's Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder. I'm gonna put that underneath my eyes and in my t-zone and it's a little scary <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> and I'm just waiting and baking and waiting and baking and then I'm just gonna kind of brush it all out um, I did let it sit for a little bit but not that long and then I'm going in right now with my Mac mineralized skin finish in the color dark tan and I love this stuff it just makes everything look really smooth so this is the color that I like and um, I'll list in the comments below what brushes I'm using and everything like that. This is Painterly by MAC. I'm going to put this all over my eyelid, both of my eyelids. Um, I'm going to take it all the way up to my brow bone because we're going to be using colors today and I wanted to kind of create a firm base for the colors to kind of help them to pop more. So make sure that you, you know, just put that all over your lid and bring it all the way up to your brow bone so that those colors that we're about to use really stand out, okay? And then when I'm done with this, I'm going to do go into my 120 palette by BH Cosmetics. This color is like a brick burnt orange kind of color. So if you have anything like that, that'll do just fine. I'm using this to kind of put in the crease and create. Um, this is going to be like the color that's going to blend everything else together. So it's kind of a, whatever color you can find. It's a more neutral brownish orange color to kind of keep everything, you know, intact. That's what I went with. This color, I love this palette. This is my Take Me to Brazil by BH Cosmetics palette. This color is like a bright purple, almost like a fuchsia, magenta kind of color. I'm going to go in to the crease of my eye. And then I'm also going to create like a wing on the sides. And this color, I want you to kind of pack it on. We're going to do a pretty heavy coat of it. Um, and then just make sure that you create a wing. You can be a little bit messy. It's not a big deal. Um, I wasn't trying to create a, a cut crease or anything too straight of a wing on here but just kind of create as much of a wing as you can with this color and then after that I'm going to go in with my Galaxy Chic palette by BH Cosmetics in the color Eclipse. I really love this color it's like a purple with a little bit of a shimmer to it and I'm just going to use a smaller brush to apply this because I want it to be a little bit thinner um, than the a, th a thinner makeup line than the other one um, and so you're going to kind of just create a wing and then bring it into your crease as well but make sure you don't cover up all the work that we did with the pink next we're going to go in with uh, this is Too Faced smoky eye palette in the color smoking hot it's basically just a smoky black color so if you have that that'll work just fine um, i'm actually going to create a wing with this as well and i'm just putting it on the outside don't bring it all the way into the lid um, just keep it on the outside wing and then eventually we're going to bring it um, into the crease a little bit later. I don't think I do it right here, but yeah, so just bring it on the outside and it's almost going to look like a dark purple because I'm not going heavy with this color. It is black, but don't go too heavy with it because we don't want it to look too black yet. Then I'm just blending out, um, you know, blending those colors together with that purple. I'm going in again with my painterly to create a base because I'm about to apply this metallic Mehron color in the number 129. And I just want it to stick. It is glitter. It's really pretty, but it does have some fallout. So just be careful with it. Um, you can also use, you know, some 
some shields underneath your eyes if you want to so you don't get it all over your all over the rest of your face but it wasn't that bad I did wet my brush a little bit first and then dipped it into the copper powder and you're gonna bring it into the um, into your tear duct as well and here I am just blending again um, <clears throat> so that those the copper doesn't stand out so much I wanted to bring it in a little bit and kind of blend it going back in with that black to do what I told you before which is to bring it into my crease and um, just make it a little bit more definitive. Uh, these colors, like it's it's gonna look a little bit messy in the beginning and then it'll come together in the end, but just make sure that you're getting a blended effect as you apply your makeup, okay? So I'm blending again with that same purple and going in with, oh, actually that's the burnt orange I'm blending with. Sorry, you guys. This is NARS Albatross. I love this color for my brow bone to highlight my brow bone. So that's what I'm doing here. And that's just gonna, you know, make everything kind of pop um, around your eyes and now I'm going in with my Tarte clay paint liner in the color black um, I'll list below what brush this is. I forget which Mac brush this is but I'm basically creating a cat eye with this color It doesn't have to be perfect um, because I am actually gonna end up smudging this liner So I was being a little bit more careful and taking my time a little bit more than I actually needed to um, with this particular uh, step, but you're basically creating a cat eye and bringing it, make the cat eye on the outside a little bit thicker and then bring the line in thinner as you go into the eye, okay? And then here I am making it a little bit thicker. I actually um, didn't mean to make it that thick at first, but it ended up working out. Um, I just didn't bring it that thick all the way in. Um, like I said, I'm about to literally smudge this entire eyeliner, so it's gonna be null and void in a second. Um, but I just wanted to kind of get that color going um, and make it a little bit more black around that area so that all the other colors will pop that's what I'm doing now and then just cleaning up the liner one more time and then what I'm gonna do next is just uh, take that same purple magenta color and put it on my waterline with a thin brush and that's just gonna you know bring that purple on the bottom of your eye just bring everything together it's so pretty I love that purple color then I'm going in again with my copper metallic powder and just bringing it into the into my tear duct again, just cleaning up and kind of accentuating anything that I happen to brush out by mistake or you know anything I lost fell out on. This is my 3D Lashes Fiber Eyelash Extension Mascara. I love this mascara. It's a two-step system. It's uh, step one is an eyelash extension mascara gel that you put from the base to the top of your lashes, and step two is a fiber complex that while it's still wet, you apply fibers mid lash at the top of your lashes and it's awesome because say you wanted to do a makeup look that didn't require any lashes or you wanted to wear no makeup these fibers literally make your lashes look longer so um, this video was actually sponsored by 3d lashes and i'm really happy that i got to use it because i will be definitely using it on like a no makeup makeup look um, obviously for this look i am wearing lashes uh, but just so you know uh, this stuff works and i love it so yes moving on and then I'm going in with my Engrave Liner by MAC. And I'm just going to put that uh, along my waterline. And now I'm going back in with my Skin Mineralized Finish. Um, my Mineralized Skin Finish, excuse me. And just, you know, blending everything out, getting rid of any fallout from all the colors that I use. I'm going to do my neck and my chest just to make it all match so I don't look like I'm two different colors. And then I'm going in again with my Sasha Buttercup setting powder just to kind of clean up that area anywhere that there was any fallout at all. And then I'm going to go along my jawline to kind of accentuate that as well. And then I'm just going to brush it out, same as I did before. And you just want to make sure that you uh, blend it out. You know, you don't want any cakiness happening around that area. But this is just going to kind of brighten it up again and make my makeup look brand new. Then I'm going in with my Ruby Kisses Mineral Powder in the color Ebony. Um, I do still use a dry contour. Um, I know wet is very popular right now. And I do, it, I do the wet contour sometimes. But dry is still my favorite. It's the way to go for me. Um, but I will do a wet contour look. For you guys just to show a different option but now i'm just going into my uh my nose and just following the outline of my nose to kind of bring the definition back into it don't make a new nose girl just be yourself <laughs> just accentuate what you got and then i'm just kind of brushing out the harsh lines right there and here is my nyx blush in the color cinnamon 
And I'm just going to kind of take that into the hollows of my cheeks. I really love this color. I'm not going too heavy with it. And then this is my MAC bronzer in the color Golden Bronze. And you're just going to highlight your cheeks with this color and just kind of make yourself look like a fairy as much as possible. And put that at the tops of your cheekbones. And I'm going to take it along the bridge of my nose and a little bit right above my lip just to make it look like I'm shimmering when I'm talking. <laughs> and then this is NYX Lip Liner in the color Pinky. I love this color. It kind of brings together the whole Barbie look. It's definitely a Barbie-like color. Um, and I'm gonna line my lips with this. I'm even gonna um, take, like I'm not making a perfect line. I'm even bringing the line a little bit further into my lip because the lipstick color that I'm gonna use is NYX Lipstick in the color Castle. And this color is almost like a pinkish purple kind of color, so it blends really well with the pinky liner. And that is the finished look. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. This is the purple Barbie makeup look. I had a lot of fun doing this video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave here. Like and comment. And let me know what kind of videos you guys want to see next in the comments below, and I'll be sure to do them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you, and I will see you soon in the next video. Stay beautiful, girl, inside and out. Baby, look at what you've done. Got me feeding for it all day long. And I wasn't looking for nothing. But now you got my eyes. No competition, you're